Hey team, how's it going? Starless there here with another video coming at you. We've got some updates, man. We did some stuff. So I went ahead and uh, finished the lighting around the outsides of these buildings, finished that corner piece up there, and then extended the wall out this way. So we have a whole corner of the uh, the kingdom, per se, done, which I really like. I uh, really like the way it's going, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this side yet, but today's episode we're going to put a storage house right here, and we're going to try... One of those new roofing house idea things from the picture on the last episode, which I'll just go ahead and throw back up right there. You can see it in the description again. But first, before we get into anything, I got some great news. So uh, I got, um, I don't even know how to say this, I found, I was reached out to, not really. I kind of put myself into it, got involved the way you should. But this great new thing from back home, some friends of mine started a community from Louisiana called Crew Gaming. And that's crew, how we would spell it in Louisiana, K-R-E-W-E, -E, uh, like a Mardi Gras crew, I guess. I probably am going into detail, which I don't even know, but um, it's pretty awesome. It's a community of gamers, um, and that's really all it is, right? That's how it should be. Uh, I saw the idea from my buddy, and I got involved, so I'm going to go ahead and throw the logo up here. It's pretty sick. I love the jester look. Um, right around Mardi Gras time, so perfect time to make this blow up. So we've got a Discord channel, things like that. I'm going to go ahead and throw the link to our community page in the description, and then I'm going to integrate the crew logo into my channel art now because I really love the community. I want to be a part of it. Uh, I'm real good friends with the founder. Uh, so, yeah, I'm excited about it. So, if you're interested, Crew Gaming, get involved, follow us. If you're from Louisiana, feel free to join the Discord channel, and let's just start playing some games. I know they've got big plans ahead, and I want to be a part of them. So, that's enough there. We're going to go ahead and go to sleep, and then go ahead and take care of these diamonds. All right, so, we started with three... No, <laughs> don't even know why I said that. We started with 21 diamonds. So, let's see what we can get from our Fortune 3 pickaxe. Twenty-one. That's the goal. Well, <laughs> I guess that's the goal. That's like the minimum. I want to come out with a stack right here, baby. That's really ambitious if we came out with a stack, but that would be sweet. I'm thinking, uh, thirty-three. Come on. Oh wow, forty. Not bad. So we're doing pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and add these to the stack, and we'll be right back. All right. So go ahead and adding to the uh, stack here. We got forty-six plus a stack. So we're doing pretty good on our diamond stash. Um, still have zero emeralds because I irresponsibly traded them all. It's kind of like my bank account in real life. Can't ever keep track of anything in there. But I'm looking to upgrade the setup a little bit and going with a Blue Yeti microphone, the uh, kind of stand from your desk, and then the shock mount and the pop filter. If you've got any experience with that, let me know because currently all I'm using this Razor Kraken microphone. It's not bad, but I know I can get the quality to be a little better with a dedicated microphone, so let me know. Alright, so since we're just starting on a, like, storage shed, because I'm tired of keeping all my supplies just out in front of the castle, I'm gonna go with the mono-pitched, uh, roofing example. So, uh, pretty excited about that. It's gonna look like a shack, but to me, that's what a storage shed should look like. So it's not gonna be anything too extravagant, but we're gonna go ahead and get started and, uh, see how it goes. It's actually super simple. It's not a very exciting one. So, I've just changed my mind. We're gonna try the... Salt box. The salt box is what it's called. All right, so we're going to start out with an 8x10 frame. That might be the wrong way to look at it. It's 10 going this way and 8 going this way. So for this, you need a 4 high frame. And then you're going to go across, I believe. We're going to see. All right, so freestyling a little bit. The uh, picture doesn't tell you to have this cross beam, but keeping in style with the rest of the village, I'm going to do that. And then uh, I'm not sure if I want to go with a stone roof yet or and a wooden bottom, like for the walls, or vice versa. So we're going to kind of play around with it and see what we like best. All right, so I've decided definitely stone wall because it kind of just fits the rest of the build. So it's pretty simple, actually. We're just going to do one of these numbers up. Uh, which one are we on? I think that's our second. So we have two more going up. Boom. And then that's the top. And then we have this here and that there. All right. And then we have this bad boy right there. Oh, and then this is pretty simple. It just kind of alternates down after that. Okay, that wasn't supposed to happen, but that's okay. There we go. Not bad. 
Okay. Oh, we messed up somehow. <laughs> Shoot. I don't think it matters. I think that's just as well. Because it's on the third block. And you should, yeah, I think it's just as well. So I don't know how I, how I got off there. But okay, so we're going to finish the roof. And then we'll, uh, we'll come back to it. Oh, they're back, dude! Dude! That sucks! Man, we played like... I don't know, like five or six episodes at least, and that's me playing for hours on end without these guys showing up! What? Once again, man, classic stare-off right where I'm trying to freaking build, dude! All right, we are going to do nothing because they despawned. No, they didn't! Look at that! Ha! Ha! It's too tall for them! What's up, baby? Woo! If I wanted to start a raid, I would so do it! But I don't, so we're gonna trap them. It's go time, baby. Woo! Let's go! Freaking Matrix! Let's go. Everybody jump in! Oh, no. Can we get two? We got two? Alright, so they killed one of their guys, but that works just as well. Well, we got... Take, took a little beating right there, but we are totally fine. Okay, I really want to kill these dudes, but uh, I don't know how yet, so more to follow. We're literally just going to make them shoot themselves, actually. That's how we're going to do this, until there's one left, which consequently there is. Okay, the thing is that I don't want to trigger a raid. So, he's gone. He's already gone. Apparently all I had to do was walk away. Do y'all hear that? I picked up the banner, and it like... Like that sound from Age of Empires when you used to like attack somebody. So that's probably not good. But we got a sweet banner. So where are we going to put it? <laughs> Let's go. And I have another idea. Whatever. But in other news, we have this guy. So let me put him there. All right. So we'll try to get two more if we get some more pillagers. And uh, we'll put it on the flip side of this. And we'll just kind of start hanging these around the castle. Alright, so that's the way the building looks. Uh, also, I have things spawning inside of the castle, so I guess the lighting level is not good enough to keep things from spawning, but uh, we're going to have to figure that out. Alright, so the trick is now going to be to make it look like it belongs here. I think making it look like part of the village would just be too plain, but making it look like the walls of the castle would be too much, so it's going to be a little tricky. All right, we kind of got look number one going right here. I'm going to change it up a little bit and see if we like that better. Look number two, not much has changed, but, uh, hmm. All right, so update. Uh, made the, the cross beams too, too short, so I had to raise them all one, which meant I have to redo the roof. All right, I think this is what it's supposed to look like. I think this actually looks pretty sweet for a shed, and obviously we're going to do a little bit of terraforming around the area, kind of spice it up so it's not just this shed sitting on a flat piece of grass. We're going to put some grass around, some bushes, things like that, but for now, excuse me, I actually like it a lot. So I'm going to finish the other sides. Wow, I don't know what I'm drinking, and I'll come back to you. All right, this is what we got so far. So we finished all four sides of the building. Kind of what the other side looks like, um, and then the uh, back end here, and then if we go on the inside, I've got some kind of chandeliers hanging. We've got some low light levels back here, so I'm going to have to fill those in um, with some glowstone, so I'm going to have to go harvest some, and then we'll kind of fill it in and do some terraforming on the outside, and we'll be good to go. Just another quick shot for you guys of the, uh, the castle at nighttime. Really think it looks freaking sweet. So I'm killing cows to get the leather, and I just breeded a bunch, just in case. And, oh my gosh, I think this is like, it's baby cow, it just follows it around. How am I supposed to kill that? Alright guys, so here's the finished product. I actually really like it. I really like the way it came out. I like the aesthetic. I think it fits the, uh, the castle really well. Went ahead and added some glowstone around the outside of the building, and some oak leaves. And then on the inside, we've got these kind of chandeliers hanging. I think I already pointed that out. Put the glowstone in all four corners. 
and then the center of the floor here with our crafting benches and then a whole bunch of chests around with item frames so i need to get some more item frames but we'll do that as we get more uh livestock in the uh farm but the item frames everything's pretty separated uh really pretty well here so uh, I really like it. I really like the way it came out. So I'm going to go ahead and throw another shout out to Dom. The uh, roofing guide was really cool and I don't think I would have come up with this design on my own. So I appreciate that. Uh, let me know what you guys think if it fits the aesthetic or not. And uh, let's just get a few more angles of it and call it an episode. Alright, this is what it looks like from the, uh, the turret here. Also, I was able to get most of this taken care of. All the... Um, chests out of the way and uh, I'll work on getting the furnaces out next as we build like a, a blacksmithing shop or something like that alright from up on the wall up on the ramparts and then the, uh, the kind of backside of it so uh, yeah and a uh, quick little update here I went ahead and demolished most of this fishing shack I still really like the idea of it but it was just way too big and just kind of ridiculous and it wasn't gonna work with the wall at all so I'm gonna continue the wall this way and then that's gonna be the size of our fishing shack sort of once I figure out what to do with that back end to get it kind of into into a form I don't know final angle this is what it looks like kind of at nighttime and I'm telling you guys I really like it so let me know what you think in the comments and uh, quick shout out to my buddy Osama over in Pakistan says he's been watching my videos haven't seen him since March but got to talk to him last night so that was awesome to hear that he's been keeping up so good luck out there dude keep crushing it and uh, thanks guys this has been still there like subscribe and comment for more